Stars fell from my eyes. Trophy earned. Oh, was that the end of chapter 10? <laughs> the Long Shadow of Shinra. Chapter 11. I'll see you when I see you. See ya, Sid. Oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Sephiroth, wait up. Bring me the black materia. Do do do. The black materia. You okay? No, he's getting more and more messed up. Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. I know that I don't remember the original game Almost very like well. Swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Huh. Odin is Nibelheim. That makes sense. I know that I don't remember the original game very well but i don't remember cloud getting messed up being done anywhere near as well in the original game that is it's just we're not gonna have a joke about here are we no the the constant kind of messing up of his head just rings more true thanks to as i've said previously the extra animation the voice acting the music you know uh, don't get me wrong the original ff7 soundtrack is excellent you know there's a reason why even though i don't necessarily rate the original game as highly as a lot of people do the the soundtrack is still very very good uh, but you know final fantasy music buddies but we we can dig uh kate meant to tell you before but the terminal's probably gone Nibelheim <coughs> burned down five years ago it did i not so worry though the terminal is as snug as a bug in a rock because Shinra wasn't he about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important too, but no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah, it's this or nothing. We should get going. Isn't the village back? Isn't that the weird twist in this section? That the village that was utterly burnt down is back and almost identical, and it's really weird. And it messes Cloud and Tifa up for a bit. Because there's no way it could be back, etc, etc, etc. That's how the... Oh, hello. Nibble Wolf. Best do it right. Uh, we need to fire, blocking with any certain attacks will pressure them. Let's do this. Now. That, yeah, well done, Cloud. You you blocked and evaded that. Let me handle this. Up. Bring it. Good luck. Taking over. over. You asked for it. Okay, these are a little bit more. See gotcha. ya. Completely missed him. This ends here. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Yes, I, I've noticed. I noticed it in. Ooh, new, new collectibles. I noticed it in 
Cosmo Canyon as well that the basic enemies are actually getting a little bit more pokey now. Up until this point, I've been able to just spam my way through mostly. But they've, they've required just a little bit more... I'm not going to say tactics, but they've, they've required more usage of ATB stuff, exploiting, and so on and so forth. The worst enemies are still the ones that just completely avoid your attacks. Oh yeah, I haven't even looked at the map. Oh, Chocobo stuff's right here. What's a Nibelheim Chocobo going to give us? What can we not do in Nibelheim that we need a Chocobo to be able to access? Right, it's straight over here. In fact, I see it. I see you, Chocobro. Are we going to have to do another hidey game? Probably. Careful now. Wouldn't he want to scare the birds? Uh. That's a lot of cactuses. Selena. Is a blue chocobo. Uh. I assume I can't just creep up and over here. Excuse me. She's looking this way, so. What are they doing? They're making sounds. Oh, they are inflating and deflating. Obtain some chocobo bait. Oh, this, this, this is not just random herbs. This is actual stuff that we need to utilize. Do I want to bait the chocobos into the... Oh, there's a chocobo right there as well that I didn't see. Oh! Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We have to guide Selena through the cactuses. <laughs> Mind, Selena. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Two golden plumes. All right, what can you do that the others could not? Feathered wave runners walk on water. Walk up waterfalls? While above bodies of water, hold L2 to launch yourself high into the air with the Choco Jet ability. Now, you can also use a stunted version of this ability while on land. That ain't what I was expecting at all! Okay, that were, that were cool. Where's the exit? There's the exit. Uh, so Choco Jet is L2. 
yeah, so it gives us a, a little bit of a, a kind of hover. Woohoo! Obtained a tuft of choco grass. Jeez, you can actually get a fair chunk of height off that. Hi, you! Hee <laughs> hee, you got a glowy turquoise bum! So we've got like a, a beach environment to start us off with. So has Nibelheim got a lot of water? This joke of a stop is now in working order. Okay, that's the same animation as the <laughs> as the the previous one. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have loads of coastal stuff, including an entire tower over there. Uh, this is somebody's the Chocobo Sage's Manor. Chadley's here. That's unfortunate. We shall run away at once. The door is locked. Oh, Cloud. Have you come to brush up on your bird handle? Not really. As soon as I heard the legendary Chocobo Sage was here, I knew I had to come. I was surprised to see a recluse residing in such luxury. Even hermits enjoy a dip in the pool. Yeah. Right. What's comets? It allows you to recover MP when unleashing an attack of the Link Materials type. Dark Tide. No, Dark Side. When active, increases the potency of abilities, but causes you to suffer damage when they are used. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Yeah. Nibelheim's not far now. First time back since. Yep. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. Lots happened since then. Yeah. Yeah, her dad died. Cloud's mom died. Oh, mind you, we're gonna get all. Uh, we're gonna get the revelations about the truth, aren't we? About what really happened and how it wasn't Cloud that was actually at the. Well, I mean, he was technically at the reactor. Mount Nebel and the birth of Mako Energy. I still pronounce it Mako, Mako. Right, uh, there's a tower here, Wouldn't which... Uh, Cloud, stay close, will you? Oh. I honestly thought I was ready for this, but... It's just too real. I will 100% stay close to you. That's actually quite cool. I like that. that. That's a fun mechanic. All of the Chocobo mechanics have been really good. My biggest issue has been the handling of them. But realistically, they handle like an actual physical creature does, as opposed to just a, kind of an object in a game world. So it makes sense. Is it just me, or have the shipments been dropping? There's been a lot of ferry docks, I've noticed. 
And, and we've not actually had. Unless we can, no, we can't use the, the, the Junon Ferry. Uh, oh, we, we're just going over here, apparently. Uh, well, hi, Selena. Right, there's a way up there, and there's a way this way. Ah. They're going to the Gala Bridge. Yeah, they're going to the mansion, aren't they? Here we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, what? I thought. People home. I wonder if it is the exact same tower wow. from the flashback, like graphical and. It's. It's brand new. Somebody's rebuilt the town. They rebuilt the whole village. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost. Because it looks different. So... Yeah, that was convincing, <laughs> Barrett. Well done. Shinra. Uh-huh. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. Terminal sense tingling. Fast travel is unavailable. Okay, so this is gonna be. Hey there. Let me guess. You got some. Huh. I'm going to very specifically make a save for this. Because I strongly suspect that 46 hours that we're gonna get some interesting story related. Bits this and pieces and choices. We here. allow our patients to walk around for their health and well being. A patients. Okay, so this is their targets. Easy does it. Go at your own pace. Yeah, they're being cared for and looked after here. Is this how it happened in the original? I forget. It's been so long since I. Uh... Many are still on. There's no need to rush. So those creepy outfits you see all the patients. Out for free. The company dolls them out for free. So is this a propaganda piece? Or Shinra. Oh look, they're helping these poor people. Look, you know, we're giving I came them. Up around here, way back. It's okay. It's Take true. all the time you need. All right. <sighs> well, shit. A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. Only they aren't quite the same, are they? Huh. Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? No. Just no idea. Good idea. Uh, 
five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. Uh huh. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please don't stay too long. Huh. New Queensburg players await your challenge in Nibelheim. Of course they bloody well do. Of course they do. Great today. Keep it up. Right, wasn't All this right. Tifa's house? The doctor will see you now. You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it? If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to tend to our current patients first. You might have noticed how some of our patients have a number of tattoos on their arms. Uh, he's a Queensburg player. I'm yeah, sure this is Tifa's room. Maybe it's you know... What? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, mm. what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. Courage does. But after moving to Midgar, after Courage making rage. a life for myself, <clears throat> I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry, and he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. Yeah. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. Nope. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It mm. was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. Aww. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they're so cute. Tried to sweep Even if did under clouds the and pretend it never dumb. happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hmm. So she doesn't have the anger anymore, but. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd. You know, always be looking at me? I, uh... What? What? <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Can I hate that about myself? Huh. Gotta get it together. Interesting. I'm not sure why after that. The question then is what this if is anything <laughs> is going on at our house? Let's take a little break. Well now, who might you be? Chef. Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Ugh. In that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. I don't know, Cloud has his moments. 
They say I'm always gossiping. No secret safe with me unless I sing. Bloody blue, bloody bloody blue. Oh, how I love to spill the tea. She's singing along to the actual music. Hold on, didn't Cloud's house have a second floor? I guess it doesn't. Indeed. Now don't you go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Marco poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm, or maybe two types of patients? Hmm. We give them sponge Aye. baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That yeah. and needle marks on their arms. Least I think they are. Although needle mark. we oh, from the, the odd one that injections, doesn't seem yeah. to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. Huh. The numbers. Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning, though, doesn't it? Yep. It's a mystery. Let's take a little break and try again, all right? <sighs> I want to talk to Aerith, but... Why don't we take a shot? Uh, to, to be fair, you need Hog Hotel. Who's this in here? Is this Barrett's? What the? It is Barrett. There, there. Just relax. Nothing to do Screw it. Of. Screw it. There it is. Question This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So huh. let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... <sighs> <laughs> I mean, at least she's consistent. Hmm. To look at this place... You'd never know. No. Nope. Yeah. Mm. It'll be the first time he's... Which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. Ooh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Well, you wouldn't know. No, just don't worry about it. Random it's stuff just seems to set him off. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. That's Tifa's hat. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there, Tifa's house. Hmm. Oh, so let me guess this is where you kept a lookout, huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave. Ha. <laughs> That is total. Oh shit! Uh, I don't know. That, that's kind of not funny, Aerith. To be honest, that's not funny. Wasn't trying to be. Honestly, just wanted to know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Didn't G 
get a whole lot of time to down. think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Okay. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? Mm. To she someone didn't you have can reminisce anyone. with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings more than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. <sighs> They're doing a really good job, actually, of building up how shitty Aerith's life was. You know, the, the, the constant reminders that she, she, doesn't, she didn't have any friends growing up, it really plays off against the Cloud Tifa dynamic. Which is interesting because from what we've seen in the flashbacks, the, the Cloud Tifa dynamic was already very kind of, not strained, but, but kind of separate. Oh. Yeah, this is where it's all going to start. Because, of course, Cloud didn't stay in this room, did he? Or did he? So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Isaac. Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Is this when he was recovering the from the river? Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgard? Yep, real city mouse. That's the first time he's actually properly seen yeah. Zack. Zack Fair. From Gungaga. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. But you didn't. You were here with me. Five years ago. You came with me on the mission. But... <laughs> Where are you? What happened to you? Mm. Mm. Check on Kate Seath. <laughs> okay. I can't believe this. Oh. Have you been locked out? I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Huh. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Bunnies! Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commish himself? Let's meet and greet. <laughs> deputy Commissioner Murasaki's up at the reactor. Conducting an inspection uh... for Fulbright. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. We get to go Could back to the reactor, and Cloud's going to have uh, more blah 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 moments. Dilly dally, shilly shally. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. It, did we help? <laughs> Being a caretaker is easy. Uh, uh, everybody's here. So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Uh, headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Not massively, no. 
Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with Why? <laughs> Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. Mm. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? Ah. Uh. You'll still be gone for a while. Sure, there's nothing you need to take care of. Ooh. I'm putting you in charge of provisions. But make it snappy. My materia needs me. That's somewhat point of no return, isn't it? But apart from playing a bit of Queen's Blood, or maybe it's giving us opportunity to go back and do some stuff here. I, I want to press on with the story, though. I'm, I'm liking the story. Right. I guess... We going to the reactor or what? We are going to the reactor. New bridge just went in, you know. Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds Handy. like a plan to me. All right. Reactor word ho! Reactor word ho. So we don't have to go the whole trail, or... Go skip some stuff. Oh, hello, Rufus. Hi, Lydia. Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu Tai. <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. That the new bridge I see up ahead? Cloud Tifa Yuffie. Okay. The very specific party. So right here is the trail that we originally took. And left there is a new bridge. Oh, we, we get to explore the entirety of this section again, if I really want to. So, is this the bridge that was a rope bridge that collapsed? Gunther. Very Viking y names. Ooh. A purple chest. Is it time for a new weapon for Cloud? Or is this for Yuffie slash Tifa? Or somebody else? It's for Tifa. Crystal gloves. Unfettered fury. Way more magic. This is locked, one assumes. No longer got credentials. Oh, that's what we need key card for interesting so we need to find them first oh oh yeah two for getting saved in fate's hands now. What is it? I remember what happened here. And to Zack. Oh. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all.
of the still. Zach my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. But she still hasn't... This. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Because he still doesn't have hey, the whole story. Are you done yet? Yep. Be right there. Yeah. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? <sighs> She's protecting him. See, I, I know how this plays out in the broad strokes. As I've been saying so much throughout this playthrough, people are probably sick of it by now. I know how this plays out, but all of these little details, I, I don't know whether they're new, I don't know whether they're old, I can't remember. But I don't recall... I don't recall Cloud finding out little bits like this. But again, 25 years. But yeah, Tifa voiced her uh, her concerns to Aerith way back in calm. It's like, as far as I know, Cloud wasn't there. So the fact that he now remembers Zack being swept away and she remembers that Zack was there... So the fact that... The fact that Cloud is now remembering seeing Zack getting swept down the river implies that he was the Shinra soldier that saved the other Shinra soldier. And at some point, it's still going to snap into place for him. I imagine if you haven't played Seven... But this is... But it's interesting because I have played 7 and I'm still finding it interesting because I haven't played it in a very long time. But if you haven't played 7, this, this slow drip feed of how the story... How <laughs> we can jump down now. Couldn't jump down the sack, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the slow drip feed of how screwed up Cloud's mind is. It's good. It's, it's been done very well indeed. And again, because we've got more time with it, as opposed to the OG FF7, which you just didn't have these, these, these number of character moments. Or maybe it's just because I didn't care about them back then. As I said, there's nothing wrong with FF7's plot. It's a bit hokey and cliche, but... And that's not me, you know, looking back and saying, oh, in comparison to modern things. No, it was it was hokey and cliche back then. Most Final Fantasy games are, to a, to a degree. Let's go. Nothing to it. I've just realised we are now level 40 slash 41, so we are higher level than we were in the... The flashback so unless you really haven't been doing any bits and pieces you're gonna be on level for this so they don't need to change the i mean unless you're using the dynamic difficulty scaling where everything scales to your level <laughs> i'm dying here let's not waste any time Marco, this stick is dangerous <laughs> Okay. I'll Twin ahead. brains. Uh, Back in it. I just got stunned Don't out of it. my assess. Best do it right. They become pressured during screech. <laughs> With me. Good time. You're done. It's it's not over. bad, but not my best.
Why is Yuffie yellow? I, I do wish the little pips round the side um, actually filled up. So, you know, if I was to put Tifa and Aerith next to each other, I could actually more clearly see. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, not ah. Huh? Have I missed a path? Oh, yeah. The one down to the life spring. Oh, there's some purple material there. Uh oh. It's interesting that this is still here. A Mako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing's materia? Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. That's what? For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I was going to say, that's what Sephiroth said. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako's making me queasy. Yeah, me too. Ha. <laughs> Tifa knows what... Well, no. Tifa suspects what is happening. Obtained an orb of HP to MP materia. What? Swap max HP and max MP values. Who would get use out of that? Aerith would have the most HP... That's, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some things on the, the kind of folios grid, whatever we're calling it, that increases your MP. But it's only by like three and six at a time, whereas HP goes up by 200 and 250 and so on and so forth. Sorry if I'm being a bit quiet. I've got multiple thoughts going through my head. Yeah, I remember this section. Have things been changed slightly? Uh, are you sure we're going the right way? We're almost there. Once we get past this part, then... Uh. Ah! Come on. Let's find another route. Raffle hook? No need to worry. I've already found one. Swinging across? More climbing, but hey. Interesting. Good job that rope was the perfect length. Okay, so we've got a different path to follow. I would like... The problem that I'm having is that Cloud has so many abilities now that I'm actually... Uh, I'm struggling to get through them all. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got half a dozen of them at this point. But I know that's what the shortcuts are for. Tifu is now level 41. Unable to obtain a handful of mist seeds. You know, I can't say I've ever taken this route before. You gonna be okay, Yuffie? Oh yeah, no problem. This is nothing compared to what we got in Mutai. Like the massive sculpture of Dachau carved into the face of this one cliff. All us ninjas have to scale it. 
part of our training. Never liked the climb much, but I freaking loved the reward. Which was? The chow beans, of course. Got to eat up when we made it to the top. Ah, tell you what, I'll give you some when we finish our climb. <laughs> That's kind, but you really don't have to. Yes, new sword. Has many a slot. Not linked, but blade bursts. Unleash a wave of non-elemental Mako energy. Ah, oh, that's Um That looks like a dragon. Looks like we're fighting the dragon. Sure, why not? Oh, it's literally just dragon. Get ready. I got your note. Weak to ice. Inflict enough damage will cause it to roar, then become pressured. Oh, yeah, pressure doesn't. Mess. Oh, I should probably have used Blade Burst. Nice. Say goodbye. Synergy ability. Uh, use on staggered foes to increase potency. These these are so cool. These are they're, they're such a cool idea. Just just building on the idea of a party dynamic. I've been thinking. We're looking for a guy named Murasaki, right? Yep. What about him? It's just uh, his name sounds Wutai. I'm sure plenty of your people immigrated to Midgar before the war. Some of their kids and grandkids probably work for Shinra. Oh, huh. I had never thought about that before. Yeah, it's never, ever as clear-cut as... Down. Huh. I vaguely recall a pipe-based thing. Oh, this is not going where I thought it was going. <gasps> An enormous stash of boxes. Huh. And there's many a way that we can go. They probably all end up in the same place. But equally, there's probably things that we can get out oh, no. Always locked. All going through. Oh shit. <laughs> there has to be something we can use to climb that fence. Ah. We could use the exciting Mako cleanup thing. Just gonna reach. Aha. That opened the door on the other side? Yeah. I, I restored power to the facility. 
I don't think we've seen those containers before, had we? All right, has that restored power over here? It has. This means we can go back up the top, yeah? Right, I need a shoot paper. Yes, I am going to do this. was a fun little jaunt, wasn't it? Hello. Not really quite enough for the time. That I wonder if that was the same as it was in the original. It's like if you'd memorised it, then you'd know what to do exactly and which ways to go there. Knock knock! Anybody home? I guess it's not that weird for people to move to different countries. And it's not like we would <laughs> welcome foreigners into Wu Tai either. I mean, take Colonel Lockrock. He and Viceroy Saruf are the whole reason we have an interim government in the first place. In fact, his whole team is made up of nothing but ex soldiers. Bunch of badasses who decided to give Shinra the finger. Kinda like you. Nothing like me. Got so much in common, you'd be best buds. Just saying, it's never too late to join the cause. Uh huh. Need the key card? Yeah. Lodbrok's dead, though, isn't he? I thought he was the guy that got shot in the back of the head, or was that somebody else? Want to join up? I'm dead serious, you know. I really think you'd like it in Wu Tai. Could bring the whole gang even. We'll start our own spec ops unit. The Yufi Recon Patrol. Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. YRP. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her Nice loyal FFX2. Tremble in fear when they see the YRPs coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. Up, up, and up some more. Oh, I know where this is. This is the, uh, this is where we appeared after the river section, isn't it? And we came down here, but we couldn't, we couldn't go anywhere. Is it time to, uh, to do some truth finding? Yeah. Oh, is this the ninjas from Wutai? <sighs> this was the thing that Rufus was talking about. At war? But what about 
about my mission. Did Command call it off? Why didn't anyone tell me? Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? We were. That's what say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Right. This is it. There's no turning back. The more I think about this, the more I realize just how much trauma no one told you anything? is involved. No, nothing. I had no idea they were story. planning an operation. I should have been here. Should have done something for them. You've done tons for us. Remember that. <laughs> Whatever. Well, you tried, Cloud, which is, uh... Something. Ah... A bench, you say? Something tells me we may have a fight coming up. Right, what is waiting for us in here? Obviously, we're, we're, are we going to get to go down to the R&D chamber and see the tanks and all of that? Because there's a big chunk of the original game, isn't there, where Cloud is just completely comatose and is not able to do anything in the party and they have to go on without him. But is that before or after Aerith's? Ah, this... Who's there? We're here to help! This place is now a chunk different. Uh. <laughs> Tentacles! Great! What the Ready? crap is this? A diabolic variant. Too bad. Weak to ice. Destroying the tentacles on its right arm will pressure it. It will summon a clone. Say goodbye. Ow. Uh, do, 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 do. I want that. In Triple the right arm. Hold on. Do this. We'll ignore that for now. Let's do that. All set. You're in. Oh. He gone. Oh, hello. Hang back. Uh. Oh, get back here. Okay. Ouch. The fire. Nice. Oh, we ow. We got to find Marasaki. Crap. Party level increased to eight. Ah, jeez. I thought we were going to have to kill both of them, but apparently not. Oh, what is up with my neck the last couple of days? Uh, right, that's where we came in. 
That looks like a door, but isn't a door. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Oh dear. Oh my god. That oh dear. Must have done this. I doubt it. They were shot. <laughs> Said Cloud, somewhat matter of factly. Meow. Nice lighting. Oh, too far. Yes, this is that chamber. Tifa. It's okay. I'm okay. She's not okay. Is that the foreman? Hey, I think we found our guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. They've all been put in the pods. Uh oh. They're both having a bit of a shit time here, aren't they? Yeah. Clouds, you are full of it. Huh? Kate Sith? Ah, Yuffie. And where might you be? Back room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here. So I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wu Tai. He what? Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. Huh. Get in there, my son. I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. <laughs> Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio. See ya. Hmm. Huh. Let's go. Really? You turning away? It's got a cut soon, Locus, isn't it? Yes. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. Oh, we need party to switch. The terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. Follow our scent right to us. <sighs> you gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move. <laughs> He's using his adult voice. Which I much prefer. Uh, oh. We are naturally going to Kate Sithit for this section. <laughs> We've got a little fun animation. <laughs> when in open spaces, hold R2 while moving to have Kate Sith roll. If Kate Sith collides with an object while rolling, he will fall over and take a moment to recover. So make sure not to roll into anything. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> you there! Oh, 
All we do is Woohoo! What do we get? Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so so sorry. Um that's not even the button. I was so taken by that. Um Oh, we've got a load. Moogle Kaboom? Moogle Mine? Moogle Magic. Yeah, so we, we've lost quite a bit of stuff. Uh, well, we, we need to do... So, sometimes life gets in the way. It's now... Uh, uh, three? Plus? Four? Probably four. Four-ish hours later. And the last thing I remember doing was this! Whee! <laughs> um, we are heading up to the mansion, aren't we? I think that was the plan. Breathe in. Now, fortunately, I actually did the Kate Sith tutorial. So I know, well, knows maybe a strong word. I know how, no, quote unquote, how to play as Kate Sith. This is so silly. Does he do this when you... Maybe he does. Maybe he does roll around like that. I don't know. Anyway. Let us continue with uh, a little bit more distance on the microphone so I can sit slightly further back from the screen. Whoop. Now, this looks very similar. No, I'm actually too close. I, it, it's only a small number of inches. Just just that little bit of extra distance. It means I need to do slightly more with the voice in uh, in post. But, you know, just a few more inches forward and it just fills up enough of my vision. I suppose I could move the monitor back more as well. No, actually, I don't think I can. They pulled out all the stops decorating this place. You can Definitely see? Seen better days, though. Ah, what's a few cracks between friends? It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. It's I'm going to go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes, after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumor that Hojo used to conduct experiments here. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt it's just a rumor. Uh-huh. Now, is there going to be more that we can explore here? Or is it just going to be... Because there was more to Shinra Man Man Mansion in the original game. You know, I'm pretty certain we could go upstairs and stuff. But it looks like they've just kept it... With the important bit, which was, you know, the basement. I can't remember what, what else was in the original. But also, I think in my head, I, I kind of get it confused with Ultimatus Castle. From 8. Which, of course, I played first. I do kind of wonder whether I should uh, play the original again. Just to see what the differences are. And to remind myself of what happens. Because I, I, I can't remember. You know, I've got no idea what happens down here. I've just completely... Completely escaped my mind. Right. This was clearly going to be a fight room when we came down here as Cloud. <gasps> This a kid's clubhouse? Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. 
Uh... Hello, and welcome to Shinra Manor. <laughs> Hojo. I don't know what it is you hope to find here. But I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Is this a recording or a live? The value is gone. But please, feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him. It's just an AI caretaker. That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh, Whee! <laughs> 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 that was a sore one. Huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh Barrett's. You're okay, oh, mate. Into the light, Barrett. <laughs> Why is there so much Let's light see. down here? It's gonna get it. I actually can't remember what happens to Hojo. Mako. We're trapped in here. A research facility. Like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Aerith could clearly get through those bars, huh? as can Kate Sith. That duct, however, might just fit a cat. That duct would happily fit Aerith. Have you out in a jiffy? Uh, okay, maybe not quite. One controller case is press R2 when the front of an editor have involved through it. Yeah. I like the fact that they've all got kind of different. Whoa. Oh, we changed direction. That's why it went weird. Hi, small friend. It's a what now? Uh. Hiding, hit, hitting them from behind with powerful offensive abilities will pressure them weak to fire. Who's this? No. You're in for it then. Ah, I'll make bits beat of you. Ah, Playtime's over. This one's a sure step. As I said. I've done this tutorial with him, but when faced with a switch placed too high for Kate's to reach, or an object too heavy for him to move, they'll have to rely on his Moogle. Up, so the Moogle can materialize to do the heavy lifting. L2 for lift or place box. Touchpad throw. Slide to change strength. Oh, God. Actual touchpad. Press L3 to toggle into and out of left stick mode. Okay. Hey, chat. How's it looking? Do you still think you can get us out of here? I'm working on it. Right, there's a switch there, so we need a big, heavy thing. Oh, okay. Whoop. One of these? Hold on. Ah. The 
Should you run out of boxes, simply step on the blinking switch and you will receive a new one in no time. Ah, I see. The cat of the hour. So we don't have to use the tooch the, the, the tooch pad. To me, eh? The tooch pad. Safe pause now. I'm assuming this is going to be another thing for red. For red. I keep saying red. A golden megaphone. So it's a lot faster to get around like this. I'll have that. And I'll have this. It's a bit dark down here. A pair of revival earrings. What are you trying to say, game? Yeah. You're saying I'm not going to do very well with this next bit and I need auto rays. Because I'll have you know. You don't actually need to be in Moogle form for that. Right. Where's this going? Oh, am I using stuff to knock bits down as well? I am. Oh! Obtained an orb of gravity! Okay. Don't want to do. <laughs> Whoop! He's so fluffy. Error detected. Service suspended. So near and yet so far. Try throwing boxes at obstacles. We programmed this mechanic, and by God, we are going to use it. Ah, I see. I have to pull it back. Inspection complete. Resuming operation. I was wondering why the the thing was that way up. So it's a, it's a kind of pull back and let go mechanic. Again, the the individual character mechanics have been quite good. You know, Barrett can shoot crystally stuff. Yuffie can create boxes and grappling hook. Red can climb up certain walls. Uh, oh, looks like we're going down here. I know how this ends. Uh-oh. Oh. Some... Right, let's uh Oh. Use an equipped summons ability. Can only be used when riding Moogle during battles in which summons are available. Oh. Brace yourself. That was quite a scrap. Okay, that's less use then. And certainly no use when we're on our own. Talk about a hard landing. Ah. So we need to push this or pull this under to give it a nice cushioned fall.
Was it around there? I think it was around there. Aha! Loyal box! Right, what are we using you for? This valve? Apparently not. Oh, it is. Huh. Thank you. Don't mention it. All in a day's work. Huh. Uh, <laughs> Whee! Oh, you can just roll through them. This cat's got. Good night. Oh. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Did I get any proficiency for it? Apparently I did. I'm not really sure how that's doing what it's supposed to be doing, but... Ooh, hello. An orb of barrier materia. Error detected in power generator. Lockdown protocol. Engaged. Insufficient Mako. Administer accelerant to red generator. Huh. Ah, I see. I need to get it. Does that open and... Mako levels increasing. Uh. Additional accelerants required... Yes, of course you have to do it multiple standard. times. Uh, there we go, thank you. That was lucky. <laughs> On the off chance we need to do it a third time. Sufficient Mako levels confirmed. Generator online. Lockdown protocol disengaged. Hurrah! It's a little bit puzzly this section, isn't it? Right, we've got yeah. more boxes. Oh. We've got benches. Have that. Just because we have cash. Uh... I assume we have to get through this door. Insufficient power. Generator on standby. Ah, oh, sounds about right. <laughs> Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode, enabling duct access. Oh good. Please commence on-site inspection. Oh good. According to this, that generator somewhere upstairs. Well, nothing else for it. Back into the air duct to go. Sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, where is the... air duct entrance? Oh, got to get the thing open first. Try throwing a box at the duct switch. Okay. So I'm assuming it's only open for a short amount of time. Got to 
to get the thing open first. Huh? Got to get the thing oh. open first. <laughs> it's been beating it off the ceiling. Or, or maybe I just need to hit it really hard. You can now pass through blue ducts. Ah. Yep. Oh no! Oh no, the Moogles died. Let's dash out some pain. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Here's what you've won! <laughs> I, mean, I was struggling then because I couldn't see squat because of how we were stuck in a corner. But then everything just exploded. What? Got to get the thing open first. Right, so we need yep. to find a way. Try a box the duck switch on the lower. Oh. Ah, because it's cycling them. Another one. I hate these armlets. Rank twelve. Three linked slots. And a fourth. No. Three link slots and an extra for a total of seven. Yeah, these aren't very fun to fight because of how. You now, the fact that they can just become immune to magic damage is kind of an issue. Does these. Uh, those do magic, I suppose. What did we say they were weak to? A lightning? No, naturally, I don't have anything. Philip, pal. You're gonna love this one. You see me fighting. Yeah, they they are not very fun to fight because of how they can. Um, I should probably put some. Huh? There we go. Couldn't open the menu on the ramp. That was weird. Let's put that Hades bracer on. Let's stick on that lightning material since that's what they seem to be uh, weak to. Tap to tap. In service. Commence transfer of cargo onto loading bay to proceed. <sighs> right then. A few boxes ought to do the trick. No. Let's see. Throw boxes onto the lift. So I assume it's this, yeah. Error. Insufficient weight for elevator operation. Additional cargo required. Gasp. I am shocked by this. Must admit, this is kind of slowing the pace down a, uh, a teeny huh? bit. Way 
weight insufficient for operation. Additional cargo required. Require additional pylons. That should be enough. Sufficient cargo weight confirmed. Commence transfer of cargo from loading bay to proceed. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's very cool what they're doing here, but it is murdering the pace. Kate says gameplay, not fast. There. Got it. Huh? Hey? What now? Uh-oh. Oh, hi. Oh, I remember this. The weird two-headed thing. Is it yin and yang or something? Yeah. Why did he? What? What? Never again. Why did you just blow up? Okay. <sighs> oh, all the better for a wee lie down. So then, onwards and upwards. It's weird how little things heal for. Yep. Yeah, I've no idea why that that boss boss enemy, whatever it was, blew up. Struts, struts, struts. Elevator operation suspended for safety inspection. Please wait. Oh shit. Uh there we go. It was being weird. Huh? No, pick up the da- Obtained a stuffed fat moogle for Johnny's hotel. Don't know where I've left that bit in. 
Because it's a side quest and I've been cutting out all the side quest stuff. Uh-oh. Now I assume we're going to get a boss of some sorts. No, never mind. It looks like we're going to have to pull some things. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. What is it this time? You'll require the password to proceed. Huh? You again. No, no. No need for violence. I come in peace, and to abet your escape as well. Huh. Like hell you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. Uh -huh. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password uh -huh. is comprised of four two-digit numbers. Oh, good. I wrote them down in this very room, but... Where? Or well, then, two digit no to numbers. <laughs> right, are they on? They're not. Four two digit numbers. Oh. Excuse me, Barrett. Thank you. Right, there's at least one behind here. Thirty six, ten, fifty nine. Just because my memory is so bad. Thirty six, ten, fifty nine. 97 Huh? What? Oh, you have to rotate it. Yeah, you've actually got to rotate the stick. Better late than never, I suppose. Come in. Uh huh. He is mocking us. <laughs> oh, how forgetful of me. This area is off limits to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly thing. What, though? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh, it's a tentacle thing. Great. <laughs> and so, I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of it. Oh, it's another half and half thing. <laughs> Forgotten specimen.
Right, inflicting enough physical damage will make it resistant to physical attacks, while magic damage will make it resistant. Forcing it to switch resistance multiple times will pressure it. Physical damage will dispel reflect, while magic damage will dispel shield. Okay, in other words, we want to be doing a variety of things. I've got some you got this. I'm coming. <laughs> Let's get serious. You'll see. <laughs> hey. Looking for me? <sighs> You've got this. I'll fight tooth and claw for you. Fuck on me. Huh? Another. Something's different about it. Oh, damn oh good. <sighs> Bring it in. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> take care of them right so we need some what were you weak to oh nothing in particular i'd keep my distance if i were you huh get ready Ooh, buy over you'll see go on get ready get him nope You'll see. Hold on. I don't That's... think that did much. Can you handle the oh, run right away? A bit run down, eh? Uh... Gotcha. Sure, no, let's kick it up enough. Don't say I didn't want the fact that you've got to be close enough to do that. No, you can do it. This one's for you. Get ready. That's it. Out. Ooh, let's bring Alexander out. We've not seen Alexander yet. Ow. Ow. He chunk. <laughs> he chunk it. I'm coming. We'll make it quick. Oh, did a thing. That deserves a wee round of something tell Oh, it's rippling. It's very emo. <laughs> It's in pain. Uh, this is new day. I swear, when I get my hands on Hojo. Grand? No, hold on. Uh. On me. You okay? Ouch. Nice Ouch. Here. Reprieve activated. He's immune to something. Wow. It's, uh, he's just absolutely murdered the puppets. 
Divine Judgment coming in though. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. That's it. Gotcha. Limits. Mega Magic Mug Box. Man. Oh. Let's dash out some pain. One more shot. <laughs> How wasn't he built for this kind of thing? No, well, no. Excellent work dispatching that seed. Thanks. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. Uh-huh. All well-earned praise aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again. Exterminators. What a dick. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. Interesting that we got a message saying that we'd escaped, Hojo. I wonder if you fail that. Now, is there a failure state for it? Because that would be interesting. You know, if the, if the game course changes a little bit for when Cloud and Co. arrive and they have to come and rescue us, maybe. That'd be funky. Oh, hi. Well, well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. Aha! Hey there. Uh... So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Uh -huh. Well, we can but try again. No sense tune on past mistakes. Uh, right. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Control. Now that everyone is reunited, the search for the terminal could continue. Kate Sith is dead set on finding it, but that leaves one empty spot in your party. More threats may be lurking within, so choose your comrade wisely. Interesting. So we have to take Cloud and Kate. Can I... Okay, and I can at least make Cloud the leader. Uh, everything else should be set up okay. Right, in that case... This door is locked. So I guess... I guess we ain't gonna go that way. So back through here? No. <laughs> so the only way is this way. Peekaboo! Oh, is this the... This is Vincent's crypt. Pardon me. Because we do, we do find Vincent, don't we? He just doesn't become playable. Hmm. Yeah, there's the his. A bit grim, no. This is what Kate Sith actually wanted to come.
Five incense. Well. Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm... Security. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, he's got weird eyes. Why are you here? I think they're Be brief. different. Your terminal. Mm -hmm. Something about the way he moves that he floats ever so slightly, like he's not affected by gravity the same way other people are. Key card. Yoink. There. Oh. Come to sleep mode. <laughs> you have the authorization at least. Oh, great. Why is he sleeping down here? As security. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? Uh... A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. Yuffie's got a bit of an issue with the book. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. I can't remember the plot of Dirge Cerberus at all. I cannot remember anything about Vincent short of Lucretia. Was his... I forget. The room is unlocked. This is gonna go. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Oh, is that it? For now. Don't mind if we do, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all the Vincent we're getting for this game, I think, possibly. A lot of people think Vincent obviously is super cool because he's gothy and vampire and yada yada yada. Just like Sephiroth's really cool because he's pretty boy villain, mummy issues, etc. Et it's like, yes. I know Vincent has a pretty good story, but I uh, couldn't remember. It's, it's something to do with people and yada yada yada. Oh, it's this room. No, is. wait, this is a different room. Is this the room that Sephiroth was, Sephiroth was in? It is, because this is the terminal that we saw right back at the start. Cloud, my boy. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Uh-huh. Yeah, it is this room. It's the... Uh... Oh. Oh, good. Uh, I can't move. Oh, no. There we go. Oh. I can't do anything except go forwards. Uh, I kind of wanted to talk to the others. Cloud? Hey, Cloud? What's wrong? Nearly there. <laughs> what is... Yeah, 
stuff from Sakuroth. <laughs> yeah, all the bits that Hojo was injecting into the, the guys for experiments. Oh no! Oh, again. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Ah, oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any. Ah! <laughs> don't hurt me, please. I can explain. Drop him. We're gonna have to fight Vincent because that'd be cool. Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. It's Matt Mercer that does the voice for that. Uh... <laughs> nice catch! Oh. Ah. Oh. On beast mode. That's a cool, cool way of doing the transformation. Love me a good silhouette to transform. You damn freak! Come on. Ah, oh, the Galen Beast, yes. Allow me. Uh, weak to uh, fire and deprotect, deshell, debrave, defaith. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him, making him flinch during inner turmoil or chaotic consumption will make him easier to pressure until he recovers. Whatever. I'd love for the camera to stop hitting me into a corner. Let's do this. That it? No holding back. We have to wait for an opening. Yes, I know, but I'm having a hard time. Uh, this is an issue that I had in. Come on, let's do this. You're out of luck. Now. Sloppy. Tifa, let me at him. Are you serious? I won't give up. Shit. Yeah, this was an issue that I had in the first game as well, where Punisher mode sometimes just doesn't bother. Tifa. <laughs> you had your chance. Let's do this. Uh It's over. You asked for it. 
Oh, 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 that crit for 9999. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh. No, let's not use that. Let's. I'm through with you. Oops. Oh dear. That's a lot of. I'm in. God, I love the, the the synergy of this is so cool. Any last word? What do we do? Stay out of his way. No holding back. Uh Yeah, we've got to that stage actually, and we're we're fairly late in the game. Yeah, you know, we're on chapter is it eleven out of fourteen, where even on this difficulty, you're having to think a little bit more. <sighs> Stay down, Vincent. I know your story, Vincent Valentine, former <laughs> Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. <sighs> He just turns and walks away. Is this how you want your story to end? <sighs> For now, get out. No. <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, because we, we knew we weren't getting so Vincent. Out, then. Now we know where the temple is. Let's not bother the man. Do we know? <laughs> hey, Space Cadet. Come on. I did well at the Space Cadet game. I'll have you know, Barrett. Yeah, Cloud's getting his ass kicked. And by cloud, I mean I'm getting my ass kicked as clouds. The door is locked. I guess Vincent doesn't want to be our friend. I wonder if it's something to do with the fact that we whooped his ass. No. Oh. There might be top of a period hidden somewhere in here? Is that all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful. Hmm. Hmm. 
See, at this stage in the original game, you could recruit Winston, couldn't you? If you did the right things, because wasn't he missable? Hmm. Yeah, there, there was definitely more, I think, to the original mansion. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. The fact that oh, Yuffie man. just thinks My rep's gonna go through the roof. that we're just going to give well, it to her. It ain't like it could go down. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh, it's all. Yeah. So... <laughs> Where is it? Aye, about that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now if you really wanted. <laughs> but... But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. Ah. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. Dio's collection. I know. It's a stretch. No denying that. Uh -huh. But it's the only lead I've got. Uh-huh. Then let's follow it. We trust you. We shouldn't. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta. Why is there a chair there? Did <laughs> somebody kick it out? Right. Huh. Huh. It's interesting. The, the number of story related things to do in a particular area is kind of lessening it's almost streamlining what's this <sighs> uh -oh. sorry i'm so late to the party my friend oh great He's got the tattoos now. Our long awaited reunion. Uh oh. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Yes, he's got the. Cloud, bring me the black material. His hair color's changed as well. He's got streaks of white in it. My desire to see you has driven me on. Yeah, he's not. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's con it one last time! He's mine! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Get ready. Damn it. Okay. We might as well assess him, hadn't we? Best do it right. 
Uh, inflicting damage after he performs special attacks will pressure him. Open up. Tell me you don't love it. Just get knocked around. Let's be smart. Save with a moment. Hurt. Why on earth, game? Do you think I'm trying to escape? You're as good as dead. Oh, gee, Christ. So many abilities to say goodbye. <laughs> You okay? Uh, 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 I won't have your pity. This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch. Oh, come on. It's on now. <laughs> oh, wonderful gift you've given to me. I'm ending this. Hey. There's no escaping the degradation, my friend. Yeah, a, a little bit of the same issue that I had with the um, the Reno and Rude fights in the original. How you could get locked Black in materia. Dream on, that materia is mine. There's no escaping the degradation. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Hmm. Yeah. That was a somewhat unceremonious end to Roche, it has to be said. Part of me is quite glad. Uh, <laughs> Zach? <laughs> Zach section? Look. This guy. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Glenn. Committee. That was his name. My name is Glenn Lodbrock. Yeah, Lodbrock. A representative of Wu Tai's interim government. But he's dead. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront... Yeah, because we heard about war, didn't we? The Near set up. Years ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule... Many years fear. ago, did he just say? What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. Huh. But when our inspectors duly arrived, Yes. They were mercilessly slaughtered. But this is what they want, isn't it? They want the war. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. Hold on. 
Are we going to get spliced into this? No. This is what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Huh. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military mm, might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. Hmm. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Who exactly is this Saruf? The Invisible Man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. Interesting. Then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn... what's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier, P-0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. Was this part of Crisis Core? A spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Ladbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. Uh, if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. Hmm. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <laughs> Pity about Saruf would be good to put a face to the name. Hmm. The ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. Hmm. One way or another. Hmm. Hmm. Regarding hmm. the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. What's he going to do? And how is he going to do it? Back to Nibelheim. So we've got to go to the gold saucer. So, as I how suspected, exactly are we supposed to get back to the saucer? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixef? Hey, cat. Thoughts? Huh? Um well, you see... Look, 
smoke. Hmm. Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. Hmm. Breaking news at this hour. Oh, Chadley. Cloud. I'm picking up proto relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. Yes, I need to go and do the proto relic bits Indeed. and pieces. Though I'm unable to ascertain why. So check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should uh -huh. you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is. Huh. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast. Phenomenal Intel 1. A dumbled. What was that? A dumbled thong or something? President Rufus Shinra helped to In it, the president denounced the huh. claims as baseless propaganda well, and dismissed their alleged it sounds to me digital fabrication. The company has launched an investigation into the individual who delivered the address. Sorry, those kids were animating a uh, I thought they broke him. <laughs> They're just playing um Yeah. Uh it it sounds to me like now is is time for the cleaning up of side quests and stuff because I am I'm not certain but I think we've probably been darling little cats is this Tifa's cat the one that keeps going missing. Um, yeah, it, it strikes me that... Let's just take a look at the, the actual world map. Yes, we've got this section up here that is covered. And yes, we've actually got a chunk over here of the grasslands or this continent that is inaccessible. We've got these islands here. But... I suspect in terms of the zones that the game is offering, I suspect that that is probably it. I cannot remember where the Temple of the Ancients is. I vaguely recall a big crater where Genova hit, but I can't remember when we find that. And I may even not be right on that because again i can't remember <laughs> like and subscribe if you are sick of hearing that comment my subscriber count goes up by three thousand um yeah as if i expect three thousand people to watch these videos the the course that we have have got then is is very much uh you know Grasslands, Junon, Corel, Gangaga, Cosmo Canyon, Nebel. I, I think that is probably it for this. We're going to go back to the Gold Saucer for chapter 12. And do the stuff that we've got to do there. And then we've got chapter 13 and chapter 14 where we go to wherever the Temple of the Ancients is and shit happens that is my thought so realistically now is as good as any a time to clean up all of the bits and pieces that i can be bothered to do who is this quest i was what Seven, eight? Is it really mine, though? White haired angel. Huh. Hello, dear. May I help? Let's just see who's involved in the quest. Just listening. You've got a great voice. Ooh. Oh, you flatter me. Ooh. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes is gone. Keep centric quest, you say? When I worry, Don't mind if I do. Get some reputation. I cannot help. See. Hey. Hmm? Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? You sing often? 
Why, I sing whenever the mood strikes, really. Haven't you ever felt like bursting into so? No! Oh, I can't say I have. You've got an ear for music, though. Uh -huh. I played piano a little when I was younger. My mom taught me. My, that's lovely. You ought to accompany me sometime. Uh huh. Sure. I bet it'd be a lot of fun. Come on. What? If you like, we can go look for your cat. Really? Oh, what a relief. <laughs> Is it I'm Christine, by the way. Ah. And Chanteuse. Chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. Oh, the cat's got She's a. Got oh. the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to well, feed her. Well, Tifa likes cats. And we like Tifa, so let's go pet her. All this talk <laughs> Choose your words carefully here, Demma. Uh, let's go pet her what cat. Happens? Let's go look for her cat. Let's... Uh, you know what I mean. Right, foot of Mount Nebel. What, over here? No oh. Idea. I haven't seen her since the fire five years ago. I feel so bad for these people. I can't shake the feeling that I just left her to die. I really hope she's okay, but if she's not... Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, this little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those <laughs> days. Hard to believe looking at me now. Uh-huh. True that. Uh, we actually need to go across this bridge, don't we? And I could probably do it on Chocobo back. Hey, do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it. Believe it or not, my dad made it. With cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. What's up? Heard something. Over there. Let's go. All I can see is chocobo butt. Follow that kitty. Look. Is it going to be children of Fluffy? Fluffy kittens. Kittens? Ooh. I can't believe it. Fluffy? Oh. Hey, girl. How you doing? It's me, Tifa. Remember? You're okay. Thank God. Oh, Aww. kitties! Fluffy, what's wrong? She's not she very well. So good. Let's try giving her the cat food. Cat food lost. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. Oh, she has many a kitty. Fluffy has recovered her strength. All it takes is a bit of food. Uh oh. Oh no! Leave him alone. Piece of cake. God be. You are dead. Woohoo! Take two exquisite beast spines from the cat. No. Come on. Uh, chase after Fluffy. It's a reverse escort quest. We're going to escort her home. This is a very Final Fantasy 13 sounding song. Very FF13, actually. I wonder if they got the composers from 13 working on this as well. 
unable to obtain all of the stuff. Uh oh, I spy more bees. The kittens are being attacked. I'm through with you. Blade burst sorted. Say goodbye. Managed to use it on the one that's grouped away from the others. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Follow the kitty, kitty, kitty. Wee. <laughs> oh, the cats. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. Queen. Too bad. Uh, exploit her elemental weakness. She's weak to fire. That's good because I'm going to. If I can catch her. Oops. Oh, she's got protected now. Best do it right. No, that's a cess. What did I do that for? Gotcha. That's what I wanted to do. Crunch. I'm a little worried Fluffy and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, mm -hmm. if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. Mm -hmm. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Yes, we'll see. Come on. Stray too far from Fluffy and her kittens, and they will lose their way. Keep tracking them and stay close by as you lead them back to the village. Yeah, so it looks like Fluffy stays with us, and the kittens kind of hang back with the, the rest of the party. For some people, this might be a little bit too badly paced. But it's got kitties. So I am fine with this. I will happily lead this cute kitty home. See, look. Home. No nasty things at home. I'm not an animals person, can you tell? Careful out there. Uh -huh. Means have started coming down off the mountain. Hmm. <laughs> Tifa has followed them. Oh yeah, we need to go and take the photo for snaps as well. Hee hee hee! Oh, the cats! <laughs> no. Huh. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. Hmm. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? Fluffy? <laughs> They're invading the clinic. Somebody's playing the piano. Somebody's playing Tifa's theme on the piano. Is it the you cats? Oh, no, it's... Why, look who it is. Oh, my little baby! I'm so glad you're okay. And just look at all these yummy muffins <laughs> with you. She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. Oh, sweetling, you're going to be a great mommy. I hope this is all right. It wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens. Couldn't just leave them, so... Don't be silly, dear. You did the right thing. I'll take excellent care of this family. They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening my home to little ones to play and rub and love. La 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 If I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. 
You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca, yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. Shh. <laughs> Blanca. What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Get yeah, Tifa to play. Can play. Cloud. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. Oh, I'm probably going to have to do this, aren't I? <sighs> okay. Just Especially since it's her piano. This occasion calls for an accompaniment. Oh, God. I know some folks who would just love the chance oh, to good. perform. Oh, good. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? You'll be great. Back out? Well, that's not an option. <laughs> then I think you better get warmed up. <laughs> okay. Oh no, new piece of music as well. Aerith's theme. Practice. Come on, Tifa. Are we going to do Aerith's theme? Or... Oh. Somewhat odd that we'd be doing Aerith's theme. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Uh, no. We will not practice piece again. We will now... Now attempt to do it for real. Are we going to do Aerith's theme again? Or are we going to... Yeah, we are. Oh, with a backing orchestra. Great. Make me cry game. Oops, damn it. Distracting me with kittens. Don't think that was any worse than the previous one. Don't think it was any better either. Oh. I'm going to blame the kittens in the background and the oh, fact that that song is marvelous. just emotional. How was it? Honestly, I'm impressed. You sure you haven't played since you were a kid? Mm. <laughs> wow, a genuine compliment. Glad that you could help. No dialogue choice for that one. For me? I certainly will. <laughs> Obtained Way of the Fist, Volume 5. I'll keep them very well fed. Mm -hmm. So bring your appetites. <laughs> All right. As if cats oh, never. Man. Cats always bring their appetites. Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Mm. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang. 
<laughs> Which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really? But you seemed fine on your own. Mm. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. We could do something about that. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. Oh. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. I think you mean Blanca. <laughs> but yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. <sighs> Sweet. Uh... Hello. Welcome back. I don't know why I'm saying it like this. This is my start of the episode voice, and this is not going to be the start of the episode. This is going to be a chunk into the episode. God knows how much time into the episode, because I've only just edited episode 5 together, and this is episode 11. So, in between, or maybe you'll have seen some of it. Again, I don't know. I have been and completed the Nibble region except for the proto relic i haven't done the proto relic here i haven't done the proto relic in corral hey, oh sits there um yeah we haven't finished the proto relic in corral and we haven't finished it because we got halfway through it and then he stopped giving us information about it. And I'm not really sure why. It's the big sand giant thing. So I've no idea what's going on there. I haven't done the Proto Relic stuff in Cosmo Canyon at all. Nor have I done any of the side quests. And I've actually got an intel thing that I haven't done on that either. But that that doesn't make any any real difference. And Gongaga, we haven't done the Proto Relic either. And I've left them out because they're they're good. I like them, but they're they're quite long, and I want to carry on with the story. Stood up? No. Nope. Waiting on you, folks. Something I wanted to ask. Oh. What's up, Sid? About your mother. Her name's Afalna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Huh? Tell me, how's she doing? Good? Nope. No. She's dead. You know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. <laughs> you were knee-high to a tonberry. And I was what? Oh, it's a smoker, I'd wager. Hmm. <laughs> but damn. No longer with us. That's a crying shame. Truly. Hey, Missy. It's Aerith. Aerith, is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? I uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. 
then again, if you're just dying to help, you could <laughs> take us to the saucer for free. Free? It's fine, we'll pay. Now, it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Okay. That would be the next step. And we are actually going to go to hey, the saucer. Good to, go. Uh, good to go to the gold saucer. Yes. Let's get a move on. I then. think this will probably end chapter 11. Uh -huh. I assume Sid's not joining the party in this game. It, it'll be. The uh, final part. Eight. Oh, hey, Vincent. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. We did. I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. He's already a dead man. <laughs> Please, uh, take a seat. <laughs> the entire gang is now in this plane. Eight. Ain't gonna lie, that's a tall order for most pilots. And I'm not most pilots. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots. I mean, he's got enough space in there <laughs> for all of them. Mind you, Kate, Sith, and Red are on the floor, aren't they? So. <sighs> Motion sensor function. Hey, Sid, I was wondering, could you tell me a little more about my mom? Sure. I was greener than Mako when I met a fallen. She took my heart for a spin. Oh. Got you, Sid. Aerith. Yeah? What happened to your mother? Did she get sick? Doctors always said she had a weak constitution, and trying to escape didn't help. I think she just pushed herself too hard, all so that I could be free. I'm sorry. At least she went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't, you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah. Thanks. Huh. Hey, don't know if y'all heard. Wu Tai's finally made a move against Shinra. Might be war. And as Midgar's been bombed to hell and back, Shinra's gotta be on the ropes. Uh-huh. Good. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Exactly. This will affect everyone, for the worse. It's like when Sephiroth shows up, nobody wins. Uh, on a related note, mm. if war ends officially declared, it will maybe long before borders start. Why is the music well, so much louder than the dialogue here? You might want to get a wee shuffle on. Oh. Uh oh. What the? Sid. Hey, Sid. I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. You liar. Uh oh. Whoa. Sid? I said just sit tight. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted by a professional. All in good hands. Uh, I think. Whoa. Oh dear. You sure? Because I think that was the engine. Uh, get off my ass and sit tight like I told you to. But, but was it altitude? Oh, man, we're screwed. We ain't screwed, people. Hey. All right. Brace for emergency landing. Oh, so down. <laughs> <laughs> this truck goes down to fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> Oh well, we've landed in. Hey, 
cannon you can swim away from. Haha. <laughs> you almost killed us. <laughs> You're all alive. You're not Murasaki. Trophy earned. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.